investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Early edition, 8.06 a.m. Eastern Time in the morning to be replayed at 10. Just can't make it at that time today, and I'm going to do the same thing on Thursday. So we're looking at the Dow futures, uh, which were um, holding quite, quite nicely uh, earlier on and after an all-time high yesterday. Uh, that's the futures themselves looking at a high of uh, 36,446, trading down about 200 points from there, 36,237, only down 75. If you look at the the actual index itself, um, a little doji candle, leg F, I'm calling this an F, I'm not going to give it an alternative count just yet. Look at the way the on-balance volume is extremely overbought. Uh, look at the way the MACD is still very strong. Stochastic's fabulous at 93%. Relative strength is in, uh, increasing in the daily chart. Weekly chart, well, it's, <laughs> we've had only one day of action, so they can't talk about that doji candle. But I am calling it, at least for the moment, a possible leg D. The MACD is just cross positive, but it's a weekly chart. We have to wait for Friday for it to confirm. Stochastic's good at, at 94%. Uh, on balance volumes are tad overbought in the weekly, not as much as in the daily. <clears throat> and it's the same thing in the monthly chart. You're looking at this rising inside track, Chapman Wave, repellent zone, touching it right now, leg E. Uh, we're going to be watching this very closely. Yes, it could turn into some kind of a an instant restart, but at the moment, calling it leg E, don't need to do anything else. And what are we expecting? We're expecting that we are really close to some kind of a digestive phase. Now, the trouble with that, it's nice, it's a, it's a nice glib way of saying uh, a little overboard, maybe we should pull back. But most importantly, what we're looking at is that the nine period moving average is so far above the 14 and the price is so far above the nine that to actually get the green to cross negative, it's going to take either at least two weeks to do that, or it's going to take um, a vicious bad news series of events that the market really takes as bad news and turns down and it just starts to plunge within the next couple of days. I, I don't see what's going to do just yet, other than the pipeline situation. I have to tell you, uh, we spoke about this the day it happened when the uh, pipeline was scrubbed. Um, that was the... Uh, the Day after the election, no, day after coming into office, that's right, with Biden, and he scrapped it. I, I you know, I, I, I would have preferred that it was thought through. And now there's talk of a second pipeline. I don't know what Canada's thinking. Wow. Meantime, back at the ranch, you've seen crude oil prices scream to the upside. So all I can say is that perhaps that's going to become a factor. Uh, crude is at 82.31. It's up 39 cents. It's still within the Chapman wave. Um, this is that falling wedge formation, lower highs and much lower lows, tries to form a base and makes a cup formation. If it takes out, in this case, if it goes closes above 83.17, I prefer to see 83.55 uh, or higher. That's a breakout, and that says, ho, ho, be careful. The price is going to keep going higher. At this point, there's still in the consolidation, and so crude oil we're looking at. But let's just go on to the S&P, because the S&P cash made an all-time high um, on Friday at 47.18.50. Failed to do that yesterday. Two tiny little doji, well, a, a doji candle, that's like a plus sign, and then a tiny little plus sign over here the next day. So I'm watching this. MACD's good. Nine periods way over the 14. 40, uh, uh, the uh, stochastic's great at 96%. On balance volume is really good. Um, so far, nothing to see here on the negative side other than these particular candles and we're in leg D. So this is what we're going to use to say there's a chance and you've got the Chapman Wave inside track in the weekly chart uh, at leg D, I'm sorry, leg E, and it's, it's bumping against resistance. Every time it's gotten to this area, there's been quite a sharp pullback, or if not a sharp pullback, there was one very sharp pullback, and that was from the high of the week of the 3rd of September at 45.45 and slumped uh, down to the 42.78 level. Other than that, we've had 
just pullbacks as, as if this was hugging like a magnet, that trend line. So we're going to have to see what happens here. I, it has to be bad news because technically there's nothing other than chapter wave notations. Uh, we're also looking at the QQQ, which made a peak C yesterday after the 400.99 and missed by one penny, 500 round number high. Well, 400.99 at peak C says that we could pop today to five to. 401, is that what I said? Give me one second here. Yes, 401, thank goodness. 401 um, will start leg D. And uh, here again, all the technicals are still very, very good. And what we are looking at is that the IWM, which was a leader, <clears throat> continued that leadership law, uh, yesterday and it went to a new all time high of 244.60 something. 244.46 uh, on the 8th, and, and it's a red candle now, uh, pre-market down 55 cents at 242.01. Looks really good. Only the on-balance volume is really uh, uh, overbought. Weekly chart leg D, monthly chart leg D. Ha! Huh. All right, now we're going to get to the nitty-gritties. You've got gold. Gold is up uh, just a, a, a bit less than a point at 18.28. Had a really good move. I'm calling this a leg E. Uh, here you have MACD strong stochastic uh, at 79, not yet at 80 percent. So that's good. Uh, on balance volume rather overbought. Price is very good. Weekly chart says that you've got tremendous resistance in this inverted Chapman Wave falling axe formation. And uh, the 1847. 1840 area is going to be strong resistance, but really good action thus far, and it's helping the monthly chart. Silver, I'll do that quickly. I want to get to a bunch of questions that I had right at the 200 period. Moving average stalling right there. 20.60 uh, is the moving average. It's at 24.48, down just a fraction. Now uh, we're going to be watching this. Not bad action. Let's go to high grade copper. High grade copper uh, down the lower end of the rung at 4.405. And uh, it's trying to form a base, and that's that's a good thing to see. Let's go to the dollar DXY. Let's just get this out of the way, and then we can go on to all the questions I had. The dollar's holding well. It's at 94.07, uh, up 0.03. Mm, look, look at the weekly chart. Just trying to get into that range there. I think this could still continue to be a high-level consolidation in the dollar. Okay, let's go back to crude oil. Crude oil is um, actually... After the two days of rallies, Thursday and Friday, yesterday, uh, no, uh, Friday and Monday, yesterday's action saw a pullback back to the nine period moving average. Now it's just a little bit above it, up 42 cents at 82.35. All I can say is that at any point, if crude oil starts to not hold but trade in the 84.50 or higher area, that 85.44 all time, high, no, so a recovery high on the 25th of October becomes uh, a target. And if it breaks above that, uh, th that weekly chart will continue to improve. And that monthly chart is still looking very good. So that's crude oil. Key support now is it's, uh, it's at 83.17. A close in the next week, that's five trading days. Uh, well, if, if it closes under 81, uh, I think it starts to stall. I just want one other thing right now. That's the TLT. TLT is up at dollar fifty, a dollar eleven, at one hundred fifty point thirty-nine. I said any move into the one hundred and forty seventy, one hundred fifty point thirty-five area would be very good, and that would say that yields are starting to come down again. I'll be back in a moment. That's a chapter early edition. This is turn around. I'll be talking about that when we get back. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up. 
today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, everyone. We're back. Uh, Basil Chapman here, Tiger Technicians, our 877-927-6648. And what I wanted to talk about is uh, the TLT has had a, a gap up to a leg D, has a little doji candle so far uh, from yesterday, but it's breaking above uh, into the 150.21 area. That is really good action. That's just suggesting that the TNX, finally, the 10-year, is seeing some breakdown in this arch formation from PT. Remember, the chapter we've always looking for Ds to consider that it's uh, going to reverse uh, either sharply or that's where you can get an instant restart, all sorts of things. It's that fourth highest peak. Well, it went there uh, just under 17 and now it's pulling back uh, sharply. It's trading pre market. Well, I don't know what it is pre market because this yesterday's close at 1497. Let's look at bonds for the moment. Uh, US. Ah. That's made a peak C. It hasn't yet made a leg D to the upside. It needs to get to uh, the peak C. However, the fifth was 163 and 430 seconds. Uh, that's exactly where we've been. And uh, we need to go one, one tick above that in the source leg D. Also, if you're looking at the weekly chart, you'll see trend line. I always use these trend lines to dis discuss my Chapman wave inside. There it is. Inside track repellent zone i'm just talking what i'm drawing and there it is so if at any point on the weekly chart there is a close of the, uh, above 164 and a half it's at 162 and 31 30 seconds right now that'll be a breakout and that will say yields finally are going to be going down much much more all right now we've got a bunch of questions i'll start off with uh, a question that i got late yesterday uh, it was uh, look at ge i just i uh, I thought I had looked at GE. I've been talking about GE favorably as um, more a turnaround that a turnaround situation that is going to take time. I was just I, I've spoken about it that I was so used to it in the in the single digits that when it got to ten and then it had a what ten for one um, reverse split and then it went to a hundred. I, I just found it a little difficult to actually get my head around giving the subscribers a buy signal on that, even though I love when there's a peak D, as there was in General Electric, back on the make of the 28th at 115.20, then it pulled back sharply to just under 95, and then when peak A, I call it gray, although I haven't changed the color yet, peak A, 
pulls back, makes another slightly higher. Uh, 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 how can I put this? This is from the starting position right here. And if that's your starting position, then you've got to count your job in the Chapman wave. Your only job is just to count the peaks and troughs. So this becomes peak A on the week of the 30th of July. This becomes another peak A at a little lower at 107.36 on the week of the 3rd of September. Then there's another one even lower. And what I love about this, it's called the Chapman wave restart. If you remember my book, CD, uh, CD book, Called introducing the Chapman Wave methodology, so it's out of print. I'm actually organizing to to make some copies because a lot of people have asked me about it, and I'll, I'll I might do something with it uh, soon because not many people have CDs anymore, to, uh, CD players. So that's the only reason. Otherwise, everything about it, I still feel very confident about uh, all the techniques. So here's a PK. This is finally a peak B, and then all of a sudden you get today pre-market up 8.77 because we we had thought over the the period of the last year or so that there would be a time where maybe a GE splits or just breaks up the company somehow or other. Well, now there's talk um, that they're going to uh, a GE plans to divide itself into uh, three public. Uh, so three public entities. So that's very important. So it's had a big spike. It's actually less now than it was before. But I'm pretty sure it's going to make it leg D in the daily. And even with this, the whole the number of leg D, E's and even F's in daily charts are all around with with indexes, with um, with important stocks just says to me, you got to be a little careful right now. There, there could be some kind of a pullback. How long and how much is, is a little difficult until you get the actual move down. So the weekly chart is good. Uh, it doesn't target the 115 area of um, of May. Well, not only does it target, but pre-market has already gone above that. And that's going to make a leg D in the weekly chart, in the monthly chart, General Electric, aircraft engines, and other areas. So that's a good sign. And uh, Paul's been emailing me a lot, talking about GE, a real company, turning around. He's been 100% correct. As I say, I've, I've liked it. I've spoken quite positively about it. I just... I, I couldn't get my head wrapped around the $100 part of it, um, but now we've got to just completely forget that and treat it as a company that's in play as a, both part of an infrastructure, part of its own turnaround. Um, it's now a different company altogether. On the next big pullback, I have to consider it as something, a longer-term position maybe. But even now, if you're in it, I'm saying congratulations. All right, next thing, Roblox. Uh, no, that was the first question was that I got an uh, email was, um, let's see, where did, I, did I type it out or did I not? Um, Ford and Lucid have extended. What, uh, what, do, you, what do you think about them? Uh, is it too late? What, what would you do? And I'm saying, you know, <laughs> All, with all the chip discussions, with all the um, breakdown of, of the, da the dearth of automobiles available at dealerships, and yet Ford is breaking out. And look at this. It's at pre-market. It's at 20.56. I mean, that whole sideways move from 18.97 from 2011, pulling back to about eight and then going right back to the 18s a number of times over the next uh, 2013, 2014, even tried in 2015 to rally, then it completely failed, and Ford plummeted down to $3.96 in March, and here it is at 20.55 pre-open, uh, in leg D in the monthly, yes, correct, it is a leg D in the monthly, no other way to count it, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, uh, and the weekly chart and the monthly technicals are improving a lot. Uh, the weekly technicals are terrific. It's in leg E and it's a leg F in the daily. What do you do? Well, there are three things that you can do. One is you could just say, you know what? Over the P if the S&P is only in leg B and it's in the monthly and it sh should still go to C and D, Ford should participate in that move since it's been participating now in this particular phase. There is a gap in the 16s. We're at 20. That's four points. That's a big percentage move. That's 20% move down. What do I do? Well, let's look at Lucid as well. Lucid is, 
And I must say, I do like the design of the Lucid very much. I think that's a nice breakthrough type design. Uh, when you see them on the road, uh, the one and one of two, uh, they're really quite impressive. That's if, if, if that's what I saw. I didn't actually read the name, but I saw one that looked like pictures I'd seen. Um, also in a late E and also pre-market having a, a gap up a potential. 47.49. Uh, up a dollar fifty-seven, and yesterday's high was forty-seven eighty-seven. Oh, so it hasn't quite gotten there yet. So, what do you do? Well, let me explain. What uh, it's very difficult. So, when I have subscribers, it's really difficult for me to say I love them. You might have to sit through a, a fifteen or twenty percent pullback, but they're going higher. That's really tough to do because you don't. You know, there are a lot of things that come into play. I discussed that with the back. And at the same time, uh, what are we expecting over the next few days in the whole electric vehicle area? Is it uh, coming public? Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. How about we're back? Uh, Basil Chapman, Tiger Tech. This is our early edition, 8.30 in the morning. I guess there's going to be some kind of news coming up. Uh, I'm not sure just what it's going to do. It seems to have helped the market just a little bit. Well, maybe it hasn't come out yet. But anyway, we're looking at the futures. Dow futures down 61. S&P futures are down just 1.25. There's this whole rotation going on. So we were looking at Ford. And we were looking at uh, uh, Lucid. Motors, electric vehicles. Uh, Ford has now said that they are going to uh, put a huge emphasis on electric vehicles. You know, I keep talking about the grid. I love the fact that they're going to be all, uh, electric vehicles. But I have to tell you something. I, I know from what's happened to a former South African. I know what happened to ESCOM. 
uh, that was just a total uh, lack of uh, keeping up uh, the technology, etc. But he used to be a leader in the field. Anyway, uh, the, the, the blackouts, it just, it's the brownouts, all sorts of things where you just don't get power. And here we are wanting to electrify everything. And we've got a we could have a grid issue. So we're looking out, but of course the market only looks to the absolute immediate immediacy, and then it looks out and it speaks about looking out to the future. But mostly the market is a a, a, a very uh, sensitive vehicle, um, and it does look out longer term. But actually, most of the time is dealing with near term. Uh, con constructs. So what we're looking at here is that Ford is up 48 cents. What do you do? So what I want you to say is you could just buy a call option or I believe there could be um, some form of uh, single uh, like, like an option. God, what if I've got the name now. Just uh, you have them you used to have them with all the major Dow stocks. There's a like a vehicle you could buy. You could uh, vehicles at Ford. You could, there's, there's an instrument you can buy Oh, am I forgetting it? Um, and it, it, it's like a long term option. Uh, that's one way to do it. And just say, you know what? I know that there could be a pullback, but I'm looking to uh, February of next year, whatever it is. And uh, you could say, I'm buying an option and that's going to keep me in the game. And I know that I could at any point on paper lose a lot, paper make a lot. But when I actually take take it off, that's when I that's when I cash out. And that's one way. The other is to say, you know what? Uh, right now, I know it's overbought, but even if it pulls back, there's a chance that it becomes in favor. This whole area keeps coming into favor. It's like a tide. Um, it just keeps coming and flushing towards the shore. Uh, and what you want, you want to do is to say, maybe I'll just I'll start a position, a small position now in maybe both of them. Uh, Lucid now, what is it trading at? Uh, trading at 47.36. And that's just not my real position. I want my foot in the door, even if it rallies. This is not my real position. I'm waiting for a pullback. And in both cases, I would say a 15% pullback is what you, if, you, if you're thinking long term so that you want to give yourself a lot of leeway and you're buying it in this, uh, buying Ford in the 17 to 16 area. So now you've given yourself what a uh, you know a fifteen percent or more twenty percent uh, pullback chance. If you're buying it there, it could go lower, but you are buying it off the recent highs, and it gives you a bit of a cushion, and then you can hold it as a longer term position. So if if that's kind of your thinking that I don't want to miss out that if it suddenly because it's the whole sector is in favor, it could move all the way through Friday. And it can even move to the 2150, 2230 area. Um, yeah, great. So you've got yourself a 5% gain, but you're still vulnerable to that big pullback. But it says, at least I'm in it. I've got a good feeling for it. I know what I'm doing. So that's one way to do it. Depends on your risk parameters. I would say, in your case, uh, Jason, I, I would probably would nibble right here. And you even there, you could have a stop even with a nibble, but just just get a feel for being in it. I don't believe you're in it right now. That's why you asked the question. And Lucid, I'd probably stick with Ford more than Lucid, uh, even though it's uh, the, it's had an all time high in the 60s and it's trading right now in the 47s. Uh, that that wick should be full to the upside. So that's all I'm saying is that give, give, you could you could nibble right here, but don't get carried away. Just it's a nibble. And if you want, even there, you could have a 3% stop or something like that. But yes, get your foot in the door, not with Lucid, but I would probably do it with Ford. Why? It's just a more mature company. And I think that they are they are trying to do things right. And it's working for them. Look at this breakout. Yeah, single leg, A to the upside. It says that in the weekly chart that that whole area between on the weekly between 1820 and 1680, that could turn into a consolidation at any point if there's a big pullback. And it would have to also be a market pullback. So the futures right now unchanged in the S&P. The Dow futures are down 55. Uh, we're going to be looking at other things as we move along. So that's my recommendation. So there were three ways to do it. Either just an option, way out option, 
and you want to be as close to in the money as you can right now. So it'll cost you a little bit, but I think it's worth it. Uh, and then you're just going to sit and wait. Even if it pulls back sharply, uh, it, you want to be in. Uh, now, the other is to uh, nibble. And that says you're nibbling here. You're just getting your foot in the door. And even if it moves up, you're prepared to see it pull back sharply, but you, you're in it. And the other is just to wait, have patience, say, look, I've missed this move. I have to wait for the next cycle. And cycles tend to, especially if you're looking at forward, it's been in play for quite a while. I, I've liked the pattern all the time. I'm not sure why I didn't say to subscribe. Just get in. Let's just get in because it's just trading beautifully above the nine period moving average. The line is way above the 14. Just beautiful. Everything technically short term. It looks overbought play based on my on balance volume and my notation of leg F could be F slash B. That's what I'm looking at right now. So the pullbacks have been very brief. Um, and sharp for, for what is done, but nothing when you compare it going big deal. So it goes from uh, 15 point, sorry, 16.70 down to 15.50. So it's two points. It's a, it's a percentage. Yeah, that's, that's two. What is that? Uh, yeah, that's uh, about uh, 10, 12 percent. And then it rallies. So all I'm saying is that the three ways that I played is do nothing. Wait for the big pullback, and then you get in, tiptoe in right now, waiting for a pullback to really get in, but at least you're in it for the moment, or use an option play. And uh, so that's that. Okay. Next thing I want to look at, Roblox. Roblox. We had this way back in May, I think it was. Um, we had a nice move, then a down move, but and we were out. And it, it really took a dive, I mean, from that May high, uh, was it May or June? Uh, June the 4th, high of 103.87 this went down to 69 69.77 just a few weeks ago now it's had a, a nice move up and then it pulls back and then out of the blue it comes out with great earnings just spectacular earnings and pre-market it's at 96.80 up 19.80 so the question is okay hope you're well uh, possible to take a look at Roblox today, RBLX in today's show, please. It's had a massive 26-point move up after hours. I've been fortunate, rather rare, to be along this from around 78 to 79 region. What are your thoughts on the stock, please, um, Mose? Uh, yeah, so all I can say is there's not much for me to say. But this is a stock I like everything that they discuss. Roblox Corporation gaming platform, game creation system. When I heard the CEO talk, it sounds like they have a, a foot in every door that anything that moves to do with anything that has some kind of uh, data driven uh, charting or some kind of action on screen, they're involved. So here it is, and now they're up. Uh, what can I? Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value 
or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Yes, I'll be back at, uh, in the den. S&P saying, yeah, we, uh, you and I, uh, that's me and him, uh, were uh, discussing this way back when it was... Uh, when uh, Robolax was in the, I think it was in the low 70s. Uh, and, uh, but look what happened. It ran to 100, just over 100. Uh, and then it pulled back to 69. To 69. You know, I, I, I would say that uh, a 30% uh, pullback is not anything to see. It's exactly what I'm talking about with the Ford and, and uh, Lucid, that if you like it longer term, sometimes you just have to put it aside and say, I don't care. I like this. And it's there. That's the reason why I really work very hard for subscribers to try to time lows and highs. Because if you get in correctly, look at look at that move that we got back in 2003, uh, 2000 uh, and uh, 2009, when we bought the Dow at the very the day of the low, March the sixth. Um, it gave us this huge cushion on any pullback. We were in it. We didn't have to worry about it. Same thing with the low that we bought March the 23rd of last year. That di The diamonds that we still hold, the Dow diamonds, we don't have to worry about that. You're in at uh, what, uh, just under 211, and the diamonds are trading now at, uh, what, uh, 363? We, uh, we just don't have to worry about that. And that's the reason why I try to attempt the short positions based on my work, and yep, as Kevin said, well, maybe the Fed is way stronger. Yeah, well, of course the Fed is more powerful, but we use all the technicals we can, and, and it's, it's worked often enough to say, hey, uh, that's, that's the technique we use. And all I can say is I'll, I'll just keep using that technique. What well, I've said for I don't know how long that until I get my skyscraper sell signal, and I must say it's getting closer, but the size skyscraper major sell signal. And until I get um, the technicals and a leg D in the S&P, the, the long term, when I said back in January of 2010, uh, I'd said this is where I'm suggesting that people that are looking at college funds or IRAs or anything, this is where you want to put money in, even though I'm anticipating in the next uh, six to eight weeks quite a sharp pullback. This is where I would be doing it. I wouldn't change that. That money shouldn't be touched. That should stay there. And all this, the, you know, the, the shorter term, trying to time it, that's just what we do. It doesn't mean to say you sell everything, even as, as I'm saying that, yes, we have got a short position in the market. Uh, it's got a pretty tight stop. We bought within pennies of the actual this instrument's low, um, multi-month low yesterday. 
and we'll see if this is going to work. That's all you do. And uh, if it does work, nice little percentage gain. But I am telling you that when I'm looking at, let's just go to the Dow. Look, the, the price is way above the nine period moving average, which has supported 36,000, uh, 35,057. The green. That's the 90 UMA. The black is the 14 period exponential moving average at 35,870. And I've said to get this green to go negative where it goes pink like it did right there uh, back in the 9th of, so 8th, 9th of September when the Dow was in 34,900s, then it went pink. And look at that sharp move down to 33,613. <laughs> it's going to take news that's really perceived as bad news. So far, that's not the case. We've just had another. I, I wonder what it is. So let me just check. Nobody said in the den yet. Basil, can you look at PayPal? I will, absolutely. And yep, in the den, everyone's saying, happy birthday, Tom. Tom, you and my wife share the same birth date. So happy birthday to you both. And let's go through this uh, right here. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I had it. Ah, no, no, no. Top post, top post weekly. No, I can't get it. I don't know what the, what what it is at. Uh, no, I can't find it. I thought I'd find it just real quickly. I've got it here in my emails, but I just can't see it. So uh, that oh, there it is. There it is. So that says. Uh, it's a Tuesday. Oh, it doesn't. Uh, there, there was a there was an email that came that gave all the. Uh, the, all the readings for, um, sorry, all the all the significant data's data uh, info that's coming out today from six o'clock this morning, eight thirty. But I, I can't find it right now. So there's uh, something happened, and it's helping the market. So the Dow futures only down forty nine right now. Can I look at PayPal? So P Y P L PayPal. As an instrument, uh, online payment, plum, uh, online payments, etc. PYPL trading down 14 at 215.10. One of the reasons why I haven't liked this, you see this pattern here where it makes a peak E in the weekly, it pulls back from the 310 area down to the two, uh, 267 ish area, then it pops up to uh, about 294, 295, and then it makes this H pattern breaks down. And now today it's got new. Or yet last night it must have had news. Earnings must be very disappointing. 215 right now, down 14. This looks to me like I wouldn't pay now for subscribers to my opening call. We have P A Y X, which is Pay Paychecks Inc. Payroll, businesses, insurance, benefits. That's different, and that had made an all-time high two days ago. Yesterday it pulled back. It, we are long from. Uh, we're off from 113s. Haven't actually taken anything off. I'm getting close to taking something off, and it's making all-time highs. So this is different in the payment field, but it's a different kind of thing altogether. So um, all I can say is that you have to be very specific. And I've been saying within sectors, there are some stocks that are doing fantastically, and then there are some stocks that just get hammered. To the downside. So I also promised I would do this real quickly. Amazon, just to do the um, uh, Fang type stocks. A Apple made a new recovery high yesterday. It went to 35, right there, uh, 3579 round number high. Remember, I like to look at round numbers, but I use them only as. Uh, if there's a sharp pullback, it means that that particular round number, it has to break above it to be able to um, to say, I'm going back up. But otherwise, it becomes a repellent zone. But the all-time high in Amazon was 3773.08, uh, the 13th of July. So this has been a huge consolidation, considering that the uh, holidays are coming up. I'm watching this closely because I think it's going to be a bit of a tell on a lot of things. So in the meantime... If, App, if Amazon at any point over the next three weeks trades under 3250, that's a big problem. If it manages to close above 3615, that's really a good sign. I wanted to also look at uh, so the Apple. Apple's pulling back. They made an all-time high. I forgot. Did I type that in? I did type it in. I remember that. At 157.26 on the 7th of July. 
Um, it's pulling back from this peak. G is really struggling. It's at 150.25 down 19 cents. It's stuck in a range. And a lot of these things are stuck in a range. They're not breaking down, not breaking up. They're just stuck in a range. Uh, let's go to, um, I want to go to uh, Microsoft. I consider this such, a, such an important instrument. Uh, Microsoft, MSFT, trading down 15 cents at 336 holding very nicely in the, at all-time highs. Uh, this is going to be the clue. I think eventually, meaning in the next week, if we start to see Microsoft actually closing under 25, that's says, okay, consolidating. Meantime, we have to wait for that to happen. It's acting really well right now. We're the top technique. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, early edition. I'll be back. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an Apex Predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, well, folks, as we're wrapping up here, and remember, this is the show that's uh, recorded uh, between 8 and 9 a.m. We played at 10, so whatever I'm saying, I could look quite silly by, uh, in two hours' time. So here we go. In video... All-time high, leg D, we're waiting for that. The QQQs, uh, one, two, three, made it a high of 400.99. I'm anticipating that it does go to uh, the 401s, and then we've got to watch it. That's that leg D, and then we'll see what happens from there. We're talking about, I just did NVIDIA, yes. Uh, so the semiconductors, just keep an eye on them because uh, NVIDIA is helping. 302.27 was the high 
Uh, what was that? The high yesterday, and now it's trading at 305.70 up 376. This extension to the upside, the longer this extension goes, doesn't mean to say the sharper the decline. It says there's two ways to look at it. You could get a high level sideways consolidation, then it breaks to another new all time high, and then it starts to pull back under the consolidation. So don't think, oh my God, it's overextended. It is overextended. But it is in favor, the sector that's in favor right now. So just all I'm going to say right now is that uh, in the uh, in DU, I'll just show you the Dow chart right now. This is a leg F, 36.565 was the all-time high yesterday. I'm anticipating some kind of a pullback right here with the Dow maybe starting it off. I'm not sure. It could look, as I say, stupid by a little later today. But in the meantime, that's kind of what we're looking at. Most importantly, if this afternoon, instead of being up, 40 points or more if the Dow is down 40 points or more it says yeah probably we're starting that consolidation I am anticipating one sudden pop to the upside in the QQQ the NDX 100 to get to that leg D about 400.99 and then we're going to see I am impressed with the fact that the TLT is still holding really well it's up a dollar 81 and 150.83 in a buy signal to a buy mode in the daily chart in leg D. Does it start a leg E? Does it recycle to an instant restart? Or is this D under the previous high? Something to consider. We'll see in the next set. I'll be back at my regular time tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. And once again, happy birthday to Tom O'Brien. I'll be back with the uh, news in a moment. And then I'm uh, going to have uh, Tom O'Brien Jr. And then my show. And then we'll have. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.